EA Sports. It's in the game. like a superhero on that run. Damn, my Brooklyn, cause he shot rack, south side. C12, 9-11, good to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie. This flex no day ready. See, we wouldn't have ride nobody with. We're the ones who started with it. Translation. Yanni had to buy Yanni and Yanni hits. <laughs> this goes so hard, even the ops go with it. Uh huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grrr. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. My Jenny, I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was stabbing for months. A running cut team, both of my packets, me need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, but we call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them don't get the same. Me and them don't get the same. Oh, I don't even know who the name is. They say I move like I'm nameless. Cause I only cover the money bags and I don't really wanna be famous. Man. We going crazy, we at the top and we never gonna stop Hopping the ghost, I'ma get swayzy I just got off of the jet and I cry My n***a I win and I hum the lie. I be on go cause I come from the shock I'm shooting back, I ain't ducking no shots Got power like Samson, I cut off the locks Ah, Shabak, ah, Timmer In the cut like I'm Fredo Santana Lose you bench and I hop in the Bama The world is mine, I'm Tony Montana I'm Pelican Fly, diamonds on me cause I'm rapping a rock I'ma go hard, I ain't killing them We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And I don't know what was going on there but the end result this is going to be a safety. Mm. Take it in at the nine. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this is caught by Watkins. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 
The catch and run, good for 24 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. But first down, Hurts. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. After the sack on first down, Hurts. And this one is incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Dalvin Tomlinson drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And, of course, coming off the safety the last time they had the football. I never want that. No, that's pretty unique, too, isn't it? When you give up points that way and the scoreboard, you look up and it says two to nothing, it can throw you a little bit. Let's see if they can put that to the side and move forward. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Out of his end zone, Cousins. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? But he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Fourth down, Cousins. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And an utter disaster as the ball's going to go over on downs at the two-yard line. And how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown Philadelphia. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. 
this is good as they extend it out now to a 9-0 lead. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've shown very little offensively to this point. Well, neither team has, really. And they come up here now first down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Cousins. And incomplete on the deep ball. Based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Cousins to throw for it on fours. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. Cousins. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Again, it's Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. But I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league. Defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right.